Recently, we've seen a lot of news from many of these car companies investing in new car models with hydrogen fuel cells powered by water. But what is it that actually makes these cars energy efficient, and do they really help the environment? I decided to build a hydrogen generator to find out. Electrolysis, the process of creating hydrogen from water, is a relatively simple process. All it requires is water and electricity. Now I started by getting a large container and drilling two holes in the top, one for the electric wires and one for the hydrogen gas to pass through. Inside the water container, the positive and negative terminals connect to several wire plates. For simplicity, I used four circular steel plates connected to my 24 volt lithium ion battery pack. The platelets act like a capacitor, forming a closed circuit in the water. The current traveling through the circuit splits the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. This is where we run into main efficiency issues. To electrolyze the water, a lot of power is required. Some of that water is lost into the water as a form of heat. Currently, electrolyzers like these operate between 43 to 67% efficiency. This means that for a thousand kilojoules of energy we have added to the system, maybe only 500 kilojoules of hydrogen gas will be produced. Now using gasification is a much cheaper option, but for each kilogram of hydrogen produced, nearly four kilograms of carbon are released into the atmosphere. Additionally, gasification is only 68% efficient. Now, now that we produce the hydrogen gas, we have two options for converting it into usable energy. One option is to burn it as we would in a combustion engine. Now if you look here, you can actually see the hydrogen burning quite well. The main problem though is that this doesn't give us a great amount of efficiency and while it does have a clean burn, unlike gasoline powered cars, a lot of carbon and pollution goes into producing the hydrogen we see here, mainly in the form of the batteries and you lose some efficiency while you go through the process of creating the hydrogen and compressing it, although we're not doing that in this case, we're just going to burn it um, just as a regular flame. A combustion engine running on hydrogen is said to have a maximum of efficiency of 38%. Now the other option is to use a fuel cell, which converts the hydrogen gas back into electricity. This process operates between 40-60% to 60 efficiency. One of the dilemmas we face is how to store this hydrogen gas. Storing it in a gaseous form is possible, but we would have to compress the hydrogen to very high pressures just to fit enough fuel inside our car. The totem rai stores hydrogen at 10,000 psi. This requires a very large amount of energy, nearly 1.36 kilowatt hours per kilogram of hydrogen fuel just to compress the hydrogen. Overall, the process to generate hydrogen is incredibly inefficient. Converting the electricity to hydrogen and using it in a fuel cell brings our efficiency down to between 25 to 30 percent efficiency. When you add in the compression, the efficiency is brought down even further to 23 percent. This means that a car like the Totem Mirai requires nearly five times the amount of energy used in a Tesla. And the bad thing is, the pollution caused by producing the hydrogen is often much more than a gas powered car will ever produce. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.